What's going on, everybody? My name is Caleb. This is Art. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And today it's time for you to change the world. Change the world. All right, so today we're starting something brand new. I like to call it Bible Stories with Caleb. I don't really have a better name for it, but right now we're going to call it Bible Stories with Caleb. And this is going to be a time where I look at something that's in the Bible, like a random story in the Bible that I think is hilarious or maybe not hilarious, or it's just a story in the Bible. And we're going to go over these stories in the Bible. So today we're going to talk about Jacob and Esau. Story, this man named Isaac has a wife and his wife can't have kids, which is a big deal back in the Bible times. You see, back in Bible times, it was very important for the wife to be able to have kids so that she could pass on the legacy of her family onto the next generation. The fact that his wife, Rebecca, can't have kids is like a really, really bad thing. And so she has this prayer to God and God answers her prayer and God's like, you know what? You're going to have kids. But when she has kids, she feels like there's something crazy going on inside of her and she asks God. She says, God, what is going on? And God's like, oh, the reason why you're having all these problems is because you're not having one kid, you're having twins. Imagine asking God for one thing and then all of a sudden you get twins. Rebecca is like, okay, great. And God says, and the older is going to serve the younger. Big deal. Fast forward like nine months, Rebecca has kids. Out comes the first dude. The first dude's name is Esau. And Esau, the Bible says, was very hairy. It always makes you wonder how hairy was the baby that they looked at the baby and said, that's a hairy baby, pretty hairy. Also, apparently he had red hair. So Esau was red and hairy, which is pretty wild. I guess he looked like Lord of the Rings, the dwarf. Esau is coming out. The Bible says that as the one toddler is coming out, all of a sudden this other toddler sticks out his hand ah, and he grabs the leg and they're like we're gonna call that other toddler Jacob and Jacob means like heel grabber or supplanter so you fast forward in time Jacob inside the tent all the time Esau is like the daddy's boy he goes hunting and killing and all this other crazy stuff the Esau has been hunting for a very long time and Jacob is making lentil stew lentil stew ladies and gentlemen lentil stew exactly Esau sees the stew and he goes brother Give me some stew, lest I die, right? And Jacob looks at him and goes, all right, but if you want to have the stew, you have to give me your birthright. And birthright is basically like if your dad's a millionaire and he's going to give you the million dollars, he puts you in the birthright. And Esau is like, hmm, dad's a millionaire, but you know what? I'd rather have a bowl of beans instead of being a millionaire. So Esau looks at Jacob and goes, you know what, I don't care. You can have the birthright. I'll sign it over to you, whatever you want. Just give me the beans before I die. Mistake number one. My dude literally just turned over being a millionaire for no reason, no explanation for why that happened. So then we're gonna fast forward some more time. <laughs> Isaac is their father and Isaac is going blind and he believes that he's going to die soon. So then Isaac tells Esau, he's like, hey son, can you go and Go kill some deer and bring the deer meat back to me and then I'll bless you and then I will die. And Esau's like, sure thing, pops. So Esau dips out, right? Rebecca hears about it. Rebecca goes up to her younger son, Jacob. Now remember, both of these kids are her sons. She goes up to her youngest son and she goes, hey, guess what? Your dad just sent out your brother to go and kill a deer and bring the deer back so he can bless your brother. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill an animal inside the tent and I'm going to give you that food. Father is going to bless you instead of your brother. And then Jacob's like, that's a great idea, mom. But then he's like, wait, hold up, mom. How is this supposed to happen? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, um, dad's going to put his hands on me and he's going to realize that, you know, Esau's mad hairy and I'm not. What is he supposed to do? And so she's like, this is what we'll do. We'll kill an animal and we'll put the animal skins all over your body. And Jacob's like, you're the best, mom. So then Jacob goes, they kill the animal, they chop the animal up, they stew the animal up, they put all the seasonings, all that stuff on it, and then they give it to Isaac. Knock, knock. And then Isaac goes, who is it? And Jacob goes, um, it's me, Esau. And then Isaac goes, Esau? Why do you sound like that? And he's like, um, because I, um, it's me. And he's like, why are you back so soon? Well, dad, me, Esau. <clears throat> I don't even know how he talked like that. <clears throat> Let me try it one more time. He's like, well, dad, me, Esau, I brought back the deer because God gave me favor. Isaac goes, that was pretty quick. 
So he's like, I don't really believe that you're Esau. So he goes, come here, son. And then he goes, oh, let me smell you. And he puts his hands on, es on Jacob's hands and he goes, oh, it feels like Esau, but it sounds like Jacob. And Esau's like, yeah, damn it. Yeah, dude, it's me, Esau. Why would you not believe it's me, Esau? And so Isaac goes, just don't know, come forward. So he leans forward, he's like, give me a hug, son. So Jacob leans forward and then es uh, Isaac's, and Jacob leans forward and Isaac smells the smell of the field. So then Isaac goes, aha. You are my son Esau. So then he blesses him. And he's like, you're going to be a ruler over everybody. and Everybody's going to bow down to you. And everybody's going to be submitted to you. And all this other crazy stuff. And you're going to be rich and famous and prosperous and all that stuff. And he goes, now go live and prosper. So then Jacob's like, oh man, I got the blessing of the firstborn. So then he dips out. About 10 minutes later, here comes Esau. Hey, dad. Jacob's like, I mean, Isaac goes, who is it? And he goes, it's me. And he goes, me who? And Esau goes, me, your son Esau. And then Isaac goes, well, then who was just in the house? And he goes, I don't know, but it wasn't me. And then Isaac goes, oh no, I blessed the wrong son, oi. Right? And so then Esau's like, dad, you must have a blessing for me. So then out of nowhere, Isaac pulls out this random blessing for his son that's not really much of a blessing, but he pulls out this blessing out of nowhere anyway. And then he goes, I'm sorry that your brother cheated you. And the Bible says that Esau leaves the house and is like, when my dad is dead, I am going to kill Jacob. But what we don't realize is this goes on for 21 years of them just not being able to get along, right? Jacob runs away, he goes into hiding for 21 years, he gets married twice. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. He comes, fights with the angel, he comes back, and when he comes back, he has to come past Esau. And he realizes that Esau is going to kill him. So Jacob tries to hustle the system. He splits up his whole family so that Esau realizes that he's not trying to take anything from him. Esau shows up to meet Jacob with 300 men. Do you know how gangster you got to be to be like, yo, I hate my brother so much. I'm bringing 300 armed men to come kill my brother and his family of women and children. You got to be pretty gangster. You also got to be pretty upset. Something miraculous happens. God gives Jacob favor. Esau doesn't kill Jacob. They actually end up making it work out together. And the Bible says that Esau and Jacob actually end up burying their father. Which brings me to why I think this story is funny. That means that Jacob, I mean, means that Isaac went 21 years after blessing the wrong son when he thought he was going to be blind and die and had to realize for the next 21 years that he blessed the wrong son. Can you just imagine Esau being like, hey dad, how's it going? And Isaac goes, oh man, uh, things are going great. He goes, is it dad? Is it going just as good as when you blessed the wrong son? Is it going that good? Because it's not going that good. And it's just something to think about. Once again, this is Random Bible Stories with Caleb. I'm your host, Caleb. And I'm your host, Caleb. And today it's time for you to change the world. Change the world. Esau. He's Esau. Esau, God hated Esau though. The Bible Never mind. Says, the Bible says Esau, he hated. This will be cut out. Yeah. Um, I'm Jacob. No, it's Jacob. confusing. That's why Isaac got mixed up. <laughs> no! The stories are crazy. Oh! Change the world. Change the world. Change the world.